In this tutorial, I'm going to run through how to compute the mean of a row or a column in an array of data that has more than one row or more than one column. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with this information. We have array, which equals 2, 4, 6, 3, 5, 7, 4, 6, 8. You'll notice that we're stepping by twos in each row and ones down each column. Now what that means is that the middle value in each row and the middle value in each column will be the mean. So for the first row, we should have a mean of 4, the second row, a mean of 5, the third row, a mean of 6. And likewise, for the first column, a mean of 3, for the second column, a mean of 5, and the third column, a mean of 7. Now the mean function just works like this. We type mean of, oops, I'm sorry, let's just do it in here, uh, mean of array. And if I press run, now I have 3, 5, and 7. Right there, 3, 5, and 7. Now what this actually did was, this gave us the mean about each column. So I'm going to type help space mean. I'm going to get the help information for the mean function. It tells me that s equals the mean of x is the mean value, blah, blah, blah. But there's a second notation. Mean x comma dimension. Takes the mean along the dimension, dim, of x. So whatever this dimension is. Down at the bottom we have some notations here. If we have an input array x, just like our array, we can type the mean of x comma 1, the mean of x comma 2. So let's go ahead and say, all right, let's play with this. The mean of array comma 1. We'll run it and see what we have. Now I have 3, 5, and 7. So I've, with this, experientially, what I've discovered is this computes the mean of each column and returns a single row containing and we'll just say this returns a single row containing, here we go, the mean of each column. There we go. Now we have a more succinct, uh, let's see, we have a more succinct uh, comment. All right, now let's also say the mean of array comma two. Well, if I run this now, I have a single column. So this, and let's copy this comment because we're just going to juxtapose some words, copy and paste. This returns a column, ooh, okay, there we go, uh, containing the mean of each row. So the, again, I said the mean of the first row should be four, the second row should be five, the third row should be six. Here we have four, five, and six. So this notation gives me the mean of all of the columns and it's displayed in a, in a row and then the mean of all of the rows displayed in a column so here we'll just say these are the column means these are the row means and when we run this again we get that the column means are three five and seven the row means are four five and six now the last thing we need to know is how to compute the mean of the entire array so to do that we need the mean now we'll say whole mean for the whole array. Then we use the mean function and array, but this one's kind of a little bit off compared to the other two. Here we had mean of array comma one, mean of array comma two. For a two-dimensional array, here I can just use my all modifier. So the, the colon uh, in MATLAB can mean two or it can mean all. So in this case, we're saying all of the data in array. And when I run this, now I have the column means, the row means, and the mean of the entire array. So I hope this is helpful and thank you for watching.